When pruning young trees, we're going to use a pair of hand pruners. I prefer to use a pair of what we call bypass pruners, where they have a hook and the blade, and when the cut is made, the blade bypasses the hook. These are two different styles that we use. Just make sure that when you prune your young trees that you're using a pair of sharp pruners that make a clean cut. Once our tree is planted, we need to start the pruning process. Peach trees historically have been pruned to an open center training system, and that's what we'll talk about today. When we start pruning our tree, we'd like our first branches to start approximately 18 inches, 18 to 24 inches above the soil line. Many times I'll use my knee and say, I would like my primary scaffolds to be in this area here. Since the center of this tree will be open, we identify our first scaffolds, three to five scaffold branches or major branches, what we call them. I got one, two, three, four, five branches that I will use to be my primary scaffolds. At that point, I will cut the remainder of the tree, top of the tree out. We cut the tree out with a beveled cut. At this point, we still have five scaffold branches, one, two, three, four, five. I would prefer to have three rather than five, and here I'll cut out one more, to come with four scaffold branches. At this point in time, I will head or cut the tips off each of these branches, approximately a quarter of those branches. When we make a heading cut like this, we stiffen the branch. We also encourage lateral branching behind that. In many cases, a peach tree will come as an on-branch shoot, or what we call a whip. The way to prune this tree is to identify where our scaffold branches will be required in this area here. Then we go up approximately 46 inches above where those required scaffolds are and cut the tree off. The reason that we go 46 inches above where those required scaffolds are is that the top three or four shoots that will grow this spring will be very upright, will be unsuitable to be used as scaffold branches. Those scaffold branches will either be broken off the top and left there, is what we call a trashy center tree, or they will be pruned out the following dormant season. When starting young trees off, the reason that we cut four to six inches above where we like our desired branches is because the resulting growth from a heading cut, the top three or four buds are very vigorous and upright. As we move farther away from where the heading cut would have been in the previous season, the branches get a much wider crotch angle. Crotch angles are essential for having our major scaffolds because they'll be much stronger. If we would look at the top of this tree where a heading cut was made here, we look at the top one, two, three branches are very vigorous. Those would be ones that we would remove the next season. If not, if we look at these top three branches, when any force is put on there, it splits into the entire tree, losing the productivity of the tree. So what we would do is we would come back in after a heading cut in the dormant season. We'd get the top three or four buds to be very vigorous. Those would be removed at a later date, allowing the tree so we would still have one, two, three, four, five scaffold branches, we may move the bottom one. If we look down from the top, we have four scaffold branches going off in four different directions. For more information on training and pruning fruit trees, you can refer to this publication published by the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service, and it can be found on the website at the bottom of this screen.